So a quick note before we get into sample spaces, and that is the concept of unfair or biased. So a lot of times in probability, you will see either biased or unbiased situations. Um, when we're working with classical probability, what we want to consider is we want to make sure that everything that we are working with is what we would be considered unbiased, meaning equal amounts of probabilities, the probabilities aren't going to change. So when you take a look, here's an example. So you see in this picture, I have two sets of die. And the ones down here, these are the ones that you will probably see in um, board games that you may have at home, like something like Monopoly. When you take a look at those die, what I want you to notice is these black dots, which are called pips, these have actually been carved out. Do you see that? So um, it actually kind of, they take a little divot out of the faces of the die. Now one thing that this does is it makes it so that this cube is not equally weighted. Another thing I want you to see is, do you see that there are rounded edges around this? So what that means is that die is going to roll more. One thing that you need to think about is if on the six side, there's a lot of weight taken out of that side, as opposed to the one side, there's only one pip taken out, that side is going to be heavier. One thing that we think about and have to consider is this die is actually unfair because now the prob the change in probability, you know, when we think about a side of a die, um, they all have a one six probability of occurring. Um, we'll see that in the examples, but this probab it might not be exactly one six. It might be very, very close to it. But one side, typically the, the heavier side will pull towards the bottom, leaving the lighter side exposed. So these higher numbers like six might show up more often than a one. Now, the picture up here shows a um, dice that you might find in a casino. And what you notice about these is you can see that the pips are actually painted on. Um, again, they do that at casinos to make sure that the die remained as unbiased as possible. Because if um, people at a casino could figure out one number would come up more than the other, they would be betting on one number all the time and the casino would be losing money. To ensure that, that that doesn't happen, they try to make these die as fair or unbiased as possible. So to make them unbiased, they paint on the tops of them, and then you see these corners are much more square. Um, that's supposed to indicate that this is going to be a more fair die than what you might see in another game. So going forward, when we start working on probability problems, we want to assume, or we are going to assume, that they are as fair as possible. Again, it's just we have to talk about the fact that some things may not be.